Hello, my name is Krishna Rao and it is my privilege and honor to be asked to serve as the inaugural president of the International College of Robotic Surgeons. My very first task in this job is a very pleasant one, that of welcoming one and all of you, fellows, friends, colleagues, into this newly established college. Robots have entered every aspect of human behavior, from comic books, works of fiction, and predictions of writers such as Alvin Toffler, who wrote in his seminal work, Future Shock, back in the 1970s, that surgery would be performed at remote locations using robotic arms. Now this was a prophecy that came to pass within a quarter of a century of his forecast. While there have been tremendous advancements in the field of robotic surgery over the last decade, it is probable that we have only reached the toddler stage in the application of robotics in surgery. Today every surgeon is enthused by the prospect that this modality will replace methods that have been perfected and practiced by us over many, many years. To the question, why do we need another college? I need only point out the founding principles that have been so well laid out by our General Secretary, Dr. Mishra, whose brainchild this college is. In essence, he states that there has to be a body of like-minded professionals that educates themselves and others in any and every aspect of patient care. A college also helps organize research, gives provenance to practice and procedures, collates data, conducts scientific meetings, establishes standards of care, and defines the role of professionals and procedures involved in providing care to the patient who, after all, is the center of the physician's universe. It will also be possible for such a body to negotiate cost-cutting with captains of industry so these procedures can become more universally available and affordable. The emphasis here is on the word international. By its very nature, robotic surgery is a specialty that is uniquely placed to internationalize surgical practice in the coming decades. The very first robotic operation was intercontinental in application. With reduction in time lag and other advancements, it is conceivable that more surgery, training, supervision, mentoring can be done from a hub in one country and the spokes in many other countries with surgeons of many nationalities and qualifications involved and interchangeable. This college will have to oversee all aspects of this endeavor, including medical legal issues. There will also, I predict, be a further blurring of boundaries between specialties which are sometimes arbitrary and smack of turf protection. This process began with laparoscopy in general and it can be further refined to a point where a robotic surgeon can perform the whole range of robotic operations but retain a specific interest in an area of his liking. Just like general surgeons used to do in the old days of which expertise. The patient will definitely benefit from this holistic approach which will replace the more fragmented one that exists today. We are poised on the threshold of an exciting era of robotic innovation. Refinements in technology are an everyday occurrence and the day is not far off when we will be able to use nanorobots in patient care. In the words of Robert Frost, we have promises to keep and miles to go before we sleep. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the International College of Robotic Surgeons. Good day to you wherever you are.
Thank you.